We should have never let them build a reactor in power. Another day in a life without sunshine. Ocean's real quiet today. Many, many. I swear, never see Shiva King. Hello there. Room for one. She needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking right. the boat! Let's see what's fighting today. This oh, way! Right. Down here! Quickly! Okay. Please! It's right on 
after us. Girl, come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. God, she's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor. There's no time. Somebody, help! Oh, I need to get her breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? <sighs> Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. <sighs> now, start! Uh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Monsters like that one have been cropping up more and more lately. Goddamn reactors to blame. What a relief this didn't turn out worse.
Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? That Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Could be that she's after those Shinra bounties. <sighs> you know, you might be right about that. <sighs> Little punk blowing smoke up our asses. Ought to give her a piece of my mind. slipping away one by one and the tighter I held on the more I lost I know I felt the same it was like they were sucking them straight out of my head and the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing only that something is like it's on the tip of my tongue but I just can't remember damn whispers speaking of you seen them lately <laughs> Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear your officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Feels like we've been on the road forever, like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know. In a vase at Seventh Heaven? And I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl. Especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. 
Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. My poor nose. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But uh, I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Turn in early tonight.
Hey. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! Mm. <sighs> Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats? I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that! <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess. <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. 
As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. You got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town, and never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Sides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. The inauguration parade is gonna be... That guy was a soldier, right? Dave's Chocobo Express! <laughs> Guess there's a fight right now. Brittle house.
don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey, Cloud, remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small-town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it, but... But? Two thousand gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help to make your price to two grand. What's that a memory? Good to go. Okay. Thanks. I'm drinking. Yeah, come on. Go. I'm coming. Gotta go for it now. Try using it. I think we're almost. It's too soon, or they're not ready. Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. There! Hit him! Meet him! Freeze!
together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right. Right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah. She won't be leaving me for a while. Then again... Hey! Sam, what are you doing here? Oh, you must be beat, buddy. Coming all this way just to say hi? Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. 
Got our stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, what's looking for you, dude? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. All those willing to fight against Shinra's Man, tyranny you and Carinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So? You gonna help, or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip! If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but hitting up flyers and posting signs is getting old quick. Well, better get used to it. Only senior members can do the cool <laughs> stuff with the route. Where's the best spot to put up a post, do you think?
la 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 Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? I regret that I've nothing to award you at this time. Nevertheless, I trust you will continue on your musical journey. Sign me? No way. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof, savage. So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil, and I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity?
God damn, dude! You legit wiped the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing cards.
Our latest newsletter is looking pretty good. Clear skies. There isn't a single job here we can be better. We're so out of shape since we built to the nest. Hello there, everyone. I'm Michaela, a member of Crows Against Shinra. I want to tell you how we can achieve world peace through Queen's Blood. If you could spare just a minute. Hello. My name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Wanna play and help me drum up interest?
That was great! See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone! You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Because the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. People of the Crow's Nest, listen! Woo! Preach! Look at our ocean! Look at it! What do you see? I'll tell you what you see. Yes, I gotta. It's nothing. Finish him off. Bring it. Yeah, Yeah. Bingo. Go for it. There. Not bad.
be an understatement. Kyrie. Spring data, I was able to locate an old Republic transmitter chip. It can be found within a derelict structure that sits upon the coastline. This area is modeled with craters resulting from intense warfare between the Republic and Shinra. Do mind your step as you proceed.
They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. of Junon. And you are. Oh, man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what if it is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. Ugh. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Ugh. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <clears throat> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to Mama! As I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done! But not to worry! I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. Will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Take that hit, you know. And they call you the pro. 
Your love and grace. Something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. 
Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh yeah! Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Fiends roam this place. Rare Fleetwing variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Fleetwings are also known as stalkers of the skies. When hunting, they descend so rapidly that their unsuspecting prey has no time to react, let alone fight back. To that end, barbecuing within their territory is not advisable, unless you want your food to vanish before your very eyes. As it happens, Fleetwings are so perfectly adapted to life in the skies that their anatomy has inspired several aeronautical designs. Continued research into this aerodynamic wonder will surely pave the way for humanity's flight-filled future. You'll be soaring through the clouds before you know it. Wow! What a bunch of...
though I suspect it wasn't much of a challenge. Nest. Feel free to rest up here if you need to. <laughs> Let me guess. I take it you're new. Oh-ho! Care to join us, young lady? We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight, make sure it's in good health and all that. It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. 
Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest in a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent.
Quick! Watch yourself! I'm coming! This one's for you! Monster territory now. Rare Ignalisk variant identified. A Kingdian protocol. Under some at the lower end of the food chain, they're exceptionally skittish creatures. We can. They can actively regulate their body temperature, thus allowing them to emit heat as a defense against predators. There are rumors that these fire displays may also be employed in mating rituals. After all. 
also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. Let's do this. Okay, let's go. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. I think we're almost done. Come on. It's over. One more shot. And catch. That'll do. Cut. Watch out for high winds! <laughs> One more shot! Gotta go for it now! <laughs> That'll do! <laughs> That's it! Ha! 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 Sorry, but I, got I won't let you down. Enjoy the time!
Chocobo could track him. in here. Let's go. What do we do now? What about those? Better than nothing, right?
Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. Are those greens? Hmm, I can't say I've ever seen it feast on anything except meat, but... Gotta say, it's kinda nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Eats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with the steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? <sighs> what a sight! I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, up. Oh, wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir! Come on! Gather around, everyone! Quickly! Quickly! Say cheese! Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so! It just showed up! I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss? I'd like you to have this. As a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud.
huh? Been itching for a fight. Rare Tonadu variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. During this time of year, Tonadus migrate to the Junon region to seek out mates. They build their nests far from civilization and raise their young in pairs. In terms of duties, it often falls to the males to search for food. Unfortunately, when food is scarce, they may occasionally venture into towns and cities where they have been known to attack humans. As Shinra's activities continue to disrupt the ecosystem, such attacks will only grow more frequent. On that note, please take care not to become a snack during your investigation. <laughs> Updating <laughs> Fiend Intel. <laughs>
This one's for you! You'll see. Get him! That's it! Get him! This one's for you! And catch! Here it comes! That's it! You got this under control! Lend me your strength! You can do it! 
My turn. <laughs> We do this fast. Come on! Gotcha! Let's finish him off! Go on! Bear! Got that! Come on! Yeah! Gotcha! Bingo!
show you what I can do. Huh? Got it? This one's for you! Sorry, but I gotta... Gotta go for it now. That's Just like that. that, okay? study basic tactics with it. Game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I'd play sometimes. Detecting gravity increasing! Wait, Tifa, don't! <sighs> Reinforcements are here! We're saved! <sighs> What in the hell is going on here? And why do we look like this? Hey, watch where you shoot! Captain! Don't give up the fight. No! Glad you're here, troopers. Shinra forces are poised to strike our position. Help us! You're our only hope. We are? Now what did I just say? There's no time! The enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come.
victory is ours! And we owe it all to your gracious aid. We thank you. Captain! Fellow troopers! It would seem that our next battle is fast approaching! The enemy could launch another attack at any moment. Please, you must stay and help us fight! Not again. Hold up! The Proto Relic! Hmm? What is that I spy? What, what is, is that, that I spy? My memory is failing me, but intuition tells me that is the treasure I seek. Hold! Unhand that, you rogues! Captain! The hell was that? Uh, call me crazy, but we were inside the game, weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Chadley, focus. So what now, little man? Proto Relic's gone. One of those punks in there swiped it. Right. Of course. The Proto Relic. It's faint, but I'm still tracking its signal. Which means a portal like the one you used to enter Fort Condor has opened elsewhere. We cannot ignore this amazing development. Isn't Fort Condor kind of a big deal in Midgar? Yeah, it was really popular in Sector 7. Maybe I should have gotten into it earlier. Think I could still learn the basics? I don't see why not. I bet both you and Red could pick it up quickly. What do you say to that? I accept any and all challengers. Oh, someone sounds confident. No backing out, okay? Listen to y'all. As if we've got nothing better to do.
my turn? Don't worry, the planet and catch! Bring it! Here he comes! Get him! Sorry about that. Sorry, but I gotta. So no long. surprise is there. What would it be like to live inside a mushroom? Please bring back all the mooglets for me, Koopo!
I really can't thank you enough for bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo! Welcome, Koopo! Variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Zemzalets are known as the sages of the skies, not only because of their intelligence, but also their remarkable feathers that make them both elegant and lethal. These feathers have been prized by all manner of craftsmen since antiquity for their beauty and resilience. Arrows fashioned from them are particularly valuable. They're said to slice through the air so quickly, they're capable of piercing even solid stone. Oh! But take care not to be so entranced by their abilities that you lose focus. Come on! Got to keep it up! Now. Resilient. Arrows fashioned for them are particularly valuable. 
their sight to slice through the air so quickly, they're capable of piercing through solid stone. Oh, they take care not to be so entranced by their abilities that you lose focus.
your love and grace. That'll do! Sorry, but I got it. This one's for you! Get him! One more shot! I'm backing off a bit. That wasn't so bad. Piece of cake. Bring it! Yeah, there! Gotcha! Just bring it up! See ya! The limit and beyond! Yeah, there! I'll take care of them. I think we're almost done. No time to celebrate. Bring it. Gotcha. Come Give on. Your uh -huh. Let's go. Gotcha. Beat him. It's over. <laughs> Nothing to it.
metadata has revealed the location of the Mind Flare lurking in the Junon region. It's said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat. get used to this it's not so bad oh from our world. It belongs to us. Oh, cease your whinging, man. We've no time for it. Right now, we can but charge! Your mission is to help us break through the enemy lines and retrieve the artifact they stole. With the captain's aggressive approach, I fear we'll surely fail. Please, we can't succeed without you. Oh! <laughs> Captain! We're coming! That's our cue.
won! Indeed. Yet we shan't rest till my prize is mine once more. Now, charge! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you fool! Huh? What is the meaning of this? Captain! Wait! Don't leave without us! Welcome back to reality, everyone. Oh, it seems you've returned empty-handed. Sorry, kid. Don't be. I wish I could have done more, but there was so much interference. We're dealing with a powerful energy source. Powerful enough to call current models into question. Hey, Chadley. I think I heard the captain call the proto-relic his treasure or something. You know anything about that? Sadly, no. While I could offer theories, I require more data to speak with confidence. I can, however, inform you of the relic's location. Let's head there next. Condor portal confirmed. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Yeah. Wait, no! What happened to the proto relic? Ain't that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. Come on, let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. Proto-relic, where would I be? Over here! Your princess and your treasure await you! Make haste, my hero! Mwah! 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 Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us! The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. All of us. What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. Thank you. 
<laughs> so how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. Hero. Hey, hands off, Buttercup! You wanna thank us so bad? Give us the proto relic! That, I'm afraid, I cannot do. This treasure is mine, and mine alone! Never would I allow you knaves to claim it! Uh. Captain? Come, my loyal henchmen! With this, none can hope to stand against us! We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire! <laughs> hey, Captain! Well, wait for us, Captain! Where are you going? That polygonal piece of shit. Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. 
Never mind the proto relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired its signal. Send us the coordinates. Mind Flayer's natural habitat. There's still much we don't know about this creature, so make sure you are well prepared before proceeding.
Preparations complete and standing by. You may proceed when ready, Cloud. We head back in there. It'll mean going up against the captain one more time. Fine by me. Let's rip him a new one. Treasure still eludes. Not I've gleaned, but loneliness. What are you doing? Stay back! We won't let anyone harm the captain. Rest assured, we won't hold back. Fine. If it's a fight you want, you got it.
time's up for this world. And everyone in it. Yeah. But hey. At least we can say we went out with a bang. We sure did. It was fun while it lasted. Thanks for playing with us, friends. May we meet again on the field of battle. Someday. Well, if we can find the time. Welcome back. And splendid work, everyone. Thanks. The Four Condor anomaly appears to have vanished, along with the captain. Which, unfortunately, means I cannot ascertain his true identity. Great. That the last we'll see of the cavalry? Not necessarily. I've devised an alternative. Though, I am sure my efforts will pale in comparison to that of their captains. Allow me to present an upgraded model of Fort Condor. By optimizing the combat simulator's OS for the game's internal processor, I have increased the unit's cognitive function and operational freedom. Provided they accept the optional update, that is. Next time we see him, I hope we're fighting on the same side. Here, yeah, man. You hang on to this. Just make sure to keep it safe, all right? What the... An untethered soul. Adrift in the void of time. This bridge is make fast. Captain? The singular item that you now hold is possessed of a power beyond your can. You will deliver it unto me! No. Ha! Ah. Very well. Then I shall take it from you by force! <laughs> I saw it plain, and never does my judgment err. So it comes to this! happened. I'm fine. Right. My apologies. I let my emotions get the better of me. <laughs> Rattled you, huh? Could it be you got a soft spot for Soldier Boy here? Annoyance response triggered. Cause? There is mocking tone of voice. Anyway, don't worry about it. Been in much worse situations than that before. Very well. Regardless, I will do what I can to improve security measures.
help you. So goodbye bye for now. Come back soon. completed our survey of the Junon region, I see. I've learned so much about the Republic of Junon, thanks in no small part to your efforts in these storied lands. Such insight into our past will invariably help us understand the course Shinra may take in the future. I cannot thank you enough for partnering with me. That was a masterful victory over Phoenix.
the flames it conjured were so captivating, I could hardly look away. With an immortal ally like that at your side, you've nothing to fear, not even death. Your love and grace.
love and grace. Get him! That's one more shot! We'll make it quick.
I've been dying to see you.
with your love and grace. Are my trials not challenging enough? Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care.
Hey, what were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Brittle houses in the city. Isn't Priscilla just adorable? She's the spinning image of moving on. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Do you need something delivered? looking to throw down, are you? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? Took the wind right out of my sails, and there I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. 
Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. We are recruiting for Crow... Where are those world? You got it! Remember, we're not just looking for games. If you lose, you gotta give us three gil, okay? Bad. But next, you gotta beat me. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you.
can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. We'll get it there in a flash! You wouldn't believe how quiet these waters used to be. Really old. Back in the day, it was long. Just one didn't. Oh, well, would you look at that? I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zoga, and I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. Goodness me, this makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. <sighs> Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> just look what happened to me. 
Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. I should have been more careful. Elevator's been shut down since shit hit the fan. Believe it or not, back in the day. In the old days, he would make ends meet you. You're a kid? Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn, who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh, no, we're definitely not. Oh, wait. You must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Diva! I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, Ribbit. Ribbit. Anyway, thanks again for your help. 
You can come back again if you want. You looked like you were having fun. Rip it. <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Rip it, rip it. <clears throat> hey! Rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs>
Come and get it. 